Hello, welcome to our series on SAP S4 HANA Financial Accounting and Controlling. In our previous video, we began with the vendor reports, which we looked at the supplier list. In this video, we are going to continue with the managed supplier line items. So we first off click manage supplier line items. In the initial screen, we have um, field tests, lots of field tests here. Just like we learned in the previous video, we can adapt or add some more filters or take some filters off. So in this um, example, we want to check the supplier line items of the company code we have been dealing with is 1710. So we select our specific company code. We don't want also to um, link it or narrow it down to a specific supplier. We'd have chosen the supplier that we want here. So here we move to status. Our status here shows us um, the, I mean, the things that we want to pull from this report. So here we have, when you draw down, we have the open items, we have the cleared items, we have all items. So first off, we want to look at the open items. Then we have the key dates, pin on key dates. So here too, you can specify the particular date you want to um, undertake this report. So by choosing the date you want here. Then we move to um, the line item type. So item type to what do you want to see? What item, specific items do you want to see? Um, do you want to see normal items, special GI transactions, noted items, packed items? In fact, you can click on as many as you want to display. So in our scenario, we want to display the normal items. So we leave it like that. Then you click on go or search. So in the search we have seen, we are seeing all the line items in this uh, particular company code. So the, it's, I mean, the different vendors and it's their line items. So um, after displaying it, you want to drill down and make other, see other things. So you can select on the specific supplier that you want to check. So when you select on this very supplier, you can, um, edit the line items. So you click edit the line items. Now it is not all the information on a, a, a line item that you can change. There are a few ones. So the ones that are editable is what has been displayed. So here we have the baseline dates, the payment item block, payment methods, the dining data and additional data, which is the assignment and the text. So any changes you want to do, you can do that. Then um, we also have the block payments, create correspondence on block payments, create single payments, and others. So there are also hyperlinks here that you want to check. Yeah, when you click on the um, vendor number, it displays the um, outgoing payments, or you can clear outgoing payments, you can display supplier balances post and also other links. Likewise, too, when you click on the journal entry, it helps you to um, display the journal entry analyzer, the managed journal entries, and other links that you want to display. So um, basically, these are the things that you can do with the supplier um, line items. Now, if you want to move to or uh, export to spreadsheet, as we did in the earlier, you click on export to spreadsheet, and also allow you to do that. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in our next video.